a wonderful magician. His name is Tony Clark. He is just getting off into the world of magic, and his talents are going to astound you. And I think you're going to be hearing a lot of this gentleman coming up. Let's take a look at Tony Clark in action right now. Come on over here, holy. You just shaved about 10 years Ooh. off my life. You scared me. Yeah. Make it 20 oh, off no. nine, I'll tell you. Can you top this? Whoa, hey, nice uh, to see you. Very wow. good, very good. So that was no exaggeration about Harry Houdini and David Copperfield. You're wonderful. Ooh, thank you very much, thank you. That very really good. Exciting. It's a lot of work, a lot of hard work. How many that. years have you been at this? 15 years, since I was seven years old. And uh, a lot of hard work. About 12 to 15 hours a day for six days a week, and that's what it takes to do it. Really a lot of work. How many pigeons have you gone through? Away? <laughs> those doves just uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell those things. flocks and flocks and flocks of them. A lot. They're, they're very difficult to breed and um, to train. So once you get them, you'd like to hold on to them, you know. They're very delicate. No souvenir doves for anything. No, no. Okay, I'm sorry. And there's different types of magic, aren't there? Stage magic, there's Yes, um, there's close-up magic, which is really close, and there's stage magic like that, then there's illusions, which is like Doug Henning and the song The Lady in Half and all that type of thing. But I like the stage magic that you just saw, because it takes a lot of skill and technique to do. The stage magic is big illusions, which is okay, but I like the, the finer, the little craft, you know, of magic. And tell us about the competition that you just won, because this was, a, there is in fact a, an association of magicians throughout right. the United States, and right. you won the world-class competition. Yes, <laughs> that was a big fantasy come true. And that uh, was open to the world, actually. There was a, a gentleman from um, Spain there and a gentleman from Canada. And there was 18 acts I competed against. And the act was about seven and a half minutes. And uh, it was really, really stiff competition, but I came up on top, so I'm happy. All that work paid off. It yes, must be yes. an incredible thing when magicians get together is it it must be a, it's, it's just crazy. exciting as it can you be. never go to sleep you stay up till six o'clock in the morning you know you sleep during the day and you're up at night it's really fun you know we exchange our secrets and ideas and what happens at this place and that so is there a lot of new stuff that comes out i mean do, are there new day, magic tricks new stuff that, every mean, day there is abilities yeah, and so every forth. day so this is something you have to study or do you develop a lot of these tricks on your own well you start style, which I'm training to do right now, and that's when you get world known and world famous, because if you do everybody else's material, you won't get the, you know, the acknowledgement for that, but if you do original stuff, that's when you get real famous, so that's what I'm working on right so now. So you have to develop your own entourage to develop tricks just right. for Tony Clark. Right, right. I'm going to it's very difficult because uh, there's so many magic tricks out there already, it's very difficult to get your own original trick, as we say, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, would you like to see something? Yeah, sure. I'd love I'll, to. I'll, let's see, do you have a dollar bill on you, maybe? No, you're looking at the wrong I'll person. give it back. Can I borrow it? Oh, it's payday. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. Uh, i got to make a dollar go a long way, Tony. <laughs> used to be great. You used to be able to cash a check at the exact change lane on the tolls, but now they're taking them down. That's there you go. Good. Now, I'm going to try to explain to you how magicians do magic. I would attempt to vanish this dollar bill mm -hmm. by folding it small enough so I could hide it in the thin air. Okay, so watch, all you have to do is just get a little close-up on this here, that's perfect. Watch, as if you fold it and you crease it, you'll see what happens, look. You know, that's not too impressive. Let me try something else. You know what, make, maybe make it more impressive? If I just tap it like this and open it a little bit slower. This may be more impressive, but also will make you very much happier. If you notice. My goodness, David, look what happened to your single. Oh. And that's a little bit better, don't I don't you know think? if you can Tony, see, me, we can't me. see this at home, but this, this uh, $1 bill has now quickly become 
enjoy it. A Ben Franklin 100. <laughs> Believe me, this yeah, did not start out as a hundred dollar bill. No, probably should give him a Not in this guy's like pocket today, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess I should well, go back to thank you. Thank you. Tony, you can come back. Incidentally, you can come back anytime you'd oh, like to to the program. Thank and, you, it was my pleasure. And do some more. Now, I know Billy Andrews is a good friend of yours. He was here with us on the show, and he gave us um, an insight into what the magicians are really concentrating their efforts on, and that's giving kids an alternative, something yes. else to do besides drugs. That's very important. I think that's what helped me the most. I grew up in the west side of Stanford, which is not the best place in town, and I was never influenced or never had anything to do with drugs because I was always in my basement working on my magic. You know, like mm. how many days, how many times a day do you want to go outside and play? I never did that. Who were your mentors? Hmm. Well, I tell you the truth, I took lessons from a gentleman in New York City named Slidini. He's 86 years old right now, and he's perhaps a magician's magician. You probably never heard of him, no. but he's known all over the world amongst magicians. And he's the one that gave me the extra spark and gave me the seriousness. Then I met Mr. Bill Andrews to get me to this point. So really, the people around me in my life had a lot to do with it. You know, it takes a lot of work and a lot of help from everyone around me. It takes caring of other people. Yes, to, to yes. Keep it's it's uh, not easy, easy to find because it's very competitive. Magic is very competitive now because it's making big money th these days. Now, are you going to be traveling? I mentioned earlier you're going to be traveling around the country. You, yes. When did you get back from St. Louis? Uh, about three weeks ago I was back. And I'm getting ready now to go to Puerto Rico, August 24th to the 28th at the Sands Hotel. I'm doing five shows Great. there. Good so that's you. like Congratulations. really good. Yeah. Can you give us one more trick before one more? we leave? Okay, let's see what I got here. What you got in those, in before you pockets. disappear. <laughs> you know, the biggest problem with magicians is trying to carry your stuff around because, as you know, there's big trunks around. So I developed a little something that you could actually do and bring all your stuff. See, I keep a little purse just like this. You could keep all the stuff inside the purse. I'll show you inside because you guys are real nice and I'll show you what's in all there. Right. If you could see inside, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Nothing. But do me a favor. Open your hand for me. Oh, That's I don't good. know if, if, I, if I take everything out of there, you could see it a little bit better. You see, it makes it more impressive. You could see it. Let's put that away. Want me to take it away? Yeah, put that in that hand right there. Oh, all right. Now, do me a favor. Point to which one you like better, this one or this one? I like this one. Now, for some reason, no one likes this one. Maybe it's, it's a fuzzball. It's, it's a little deformed. I don't know. It needs a little Clarisol there or something. I don't know. Well, hold on to the one you don't like. I'll give you the one you like. Now, when I put it in your house, I'll make sure you squeeze it. Perfect. Now, watch mine here. I'm going to do this. Do you know what I just did? No. Nothing. It just looks nice. That's all. <laughs> Watch. I'm going to take it and squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it till it becomes invisible. I'll take the ball invisibly out of the air. Do this. Tap your hand. Now. Open your hand real slow. Let's see if it happened. Real slow. Oh, my hand. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and there look you have at it. They're back that. again. Thank you very much. This is the one you very like. Get the whole on to this one. I'll keep this one. You have one Tell for souvenir. That's Thank you very that. much. Best of luck to you. Thank you, you very much. Puerto Rico. It's been Thank great you. having you here with us today. My pleasure. Thank I you think I much. did the best out of this. Program. I think you did. I got a football and you got a $100 bill. We got a lot more coming up. Thank so you. don't go away. Enjoy that. Thanks. <laughs>